Where are they? Kill him. Take his family. <laughs> <laughs> someone sounds traumatized. <laughs> yeah. I think they might be. If for some reason you don't know what Gorilla Tag is by now, it's basically a game that came out about a month ago and it involves violently swinging your arms at the ground to move. There is no catch, you literally just run around playing tag but like an actual monkey. <laughs> I'm choking the shit out of you, look. God! Monkey! Oh, what's choking you? However, if you don't make sure you have a massive area to swing your arms around, I'm afraid it's not gonna end well for you. Oh, fuck, I punched the table! <laughs> the first time I played this game, I hurt my arm so much, I couldn't even play VR games like Beat Saber, because it used my arms too much. So, I guess from that you should kind of be understanding the game that Gorilla Tag actually is. The imposter is so He's a monkey. He's, the kinda, monkey. he's looking kinda sus. Sus. The game has an incredibly smooth transition from your private treehouse to a public lobby, and it just makes you feel like you're a monkey going to play with your monkey friends. It puts a smile on my face every time I just walk out of that little hole in the treehouse and then I join a full lobby of monkeys. But if you download this game, then you'll have to get used to the obnoxiously loud monkey screams that people have developed whilst playing this game for 48 hours straight, and thankfully there is a cool mute system. And did I mention you need to be able to use the movement controls in game to actually mute people? <laughs> yeah, I was right already. Gorilla Tag has given me some really nice memories of people playing it, which many of it include me laughing my head off whilst I'm on top of a tree with me wirelessly connected with virtual desktop and my friends are telling me they're being strangled by their cables and violently bashing objects in their room. So maybe this game isn't as child friendly as it would first seem. Maybe it's just a game that's designed to cause pain and suffering and anguish, but I could be reading between the lines a little too much here. The first time you load up this game, it genuinely feels like you're learning to walk again, apart from the fact you are a literal monkey. The premise of this game is so good it could literally be even more pixelated graphics than it already is, and people would still play it. <sighs> Hello Mr. Potato. Purple Hello, and black no, monkey. Hello, red monkey. Tag. You just got monkey got. How do you get up there? I see people go up there. You just have monkey try hard. No, my head's a red monkey. No, I got. I'm the stop me. But we pray for the monkey gods. Fuck. You're using one hand, Hi. you're goners. But I think this is because we all have a little monkey inside of us that we just need to release every now and then. And for some people, this will involve hitting family members and pets whilst trying to poke another monkey and turn them into a lava monkey. And for others, it will just involve swinging around like a normal monkey. Oh, it's a monkey mirror. Oh, that's... Oh, that's not normal. This game needs a lot of space. And if you don't have that, say goodbye to your knuckles, your arms, family members, pets, loved ones, and any other part of your body. Because once you go monkey, there is no coming back. This game is dangerous. So much that I would say it's the most dangerous VR game if your setup isn't ideal for it. The amount of times I've just been chasing someone in a public lobby and there was a sudden loud bang followed by them saying, Dude, I just met three mirrors, two chairs, and my neighbor's car. In terms of the ideal setup for this, the Oculus Quest is clearly gonna be king here because you can play it on App Lab, Virtual Desktop, and SideQuest. There's so many options for you to play it, and they're all wireless. This prevents being strangled as well as being able to move more flexibly. 
It's up here. I want that BBQ. You it's, want that okay, BBQ? Okay, that's a little offensive. Come down here. <laughs> it's no. a little offensive. <laughs> He's up there. Get him I want that monkeys. BBQ. <laughs> 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 Give me that BBQ. I, I, I want that. What makes the game even better is the fact it's free to play. That means you don't even have to be charged to break things in your house. This game is incredibly simplistic. There is pretty much nothing to it other than monkey jump to other monkey and touch monkey to make another lava monkey. I just said the word monkey like five times in one sentence. I'm hiding that one over there. Three monkey around here? Uh, and once you go past the shadow, you will eat. Oh, 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 once you go past my butt. There's a monkey in the cart. There's a monkey in the cart. Come here. Come on. I may have. Whisper your own wings. Never find me. Monkey. Come get me if you can. I'm on top of that big crystal. I'm also going to add that Gorilla Tag is a literal workout. You could probably tell because of the way you are seeing me aggressively swing my arms in these clips, but I don't think you can fully grasp the magnitude and the velocity that my arms are traveling here, because to move anywhere in this game, you need power and momentum, and by the end of a play session, I'm worrying about whether the Oculus controllers are sweatproof or not, because by this time, they are drowning in it. Okay, so if you have just watched me talk about what is essentially tag with monkeys for six and a half minutes, I just want to thank you so much for sticking around, and if I did for some reason happen to make you laugh, then why not leave a cheeky sub on the channel so I can perhaps make you laugh again in the future? And if you're already subbed, then why not like? Because who knows, it might help with the algorithm or it'll just show a token of me making you laugh. But I'm really enjoying making content for everyone that's watching these videos, and right now you mean the world to me. So make sure to be there for next week's upload, and if anyone wants to hang around in the Discord for some reason, then maybe I will see you in the monkey forest or the monkey mines. This has been Wanduk, goodbye.